Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Think Once Code Anywhere. And now let us discuss the same program which we have discussed in the previous video that is to collect a multi line statement as an input from the user and to display the same in the output screen. And here in Java language, we can do the same by using a scanner class. So let us create our first object for the scanner class. So scanner scan. So let us name the object as scan. So the scanner class has an object as scan and it is new scanner of system.in so now we have created an object successfully for the class scanner and before that we have to make sure that the scanner class package was imported right so we have to write one more statement called as import java.util the scanner class is con contained inside the util package so java.util. either you can go with scanner or else an alternative way can also be used that is asterisk right so the main difference between giving scanner and asterisk is if i use scanner the just the scanner class packages will be imported here but if i use asterisk here the entire package that is java.util package will be used in my program so next let us declare the string so string str equal to so normally we used to write the scanner object dot either next to collect only one particular word right so scan dot next is used to collect only one word and now if i use scan dot next line right so if i use scan dot next line it is capable of collecting one entire line as an input from the user but now our constraint is we have to receive a multi line input so it means that we have to stop receiving this just do a semicolon here now just open a while loop so while do while of true and one more thing java doesn't take any values any numerical values inside the while loop or inside the for loop are inside if else condition so the only possibility is we can either share true or we can pass the false value here so at once you are opening your while loop just do one more thing before that make sure that you are going to pass a delimiter for your scanner object so just do scan dot use delimiter and here the delimiter is going to be same as the previous one so slash slash t so why i am using double slash t is like in compiler if you just give slash t it won't be considered properly but if you give double slash t this double slash will be considered as one single slash and t will be considered as slash and t they both will be concatenated and they will be considered as a tab space now we have given while of true and here i just want to get the input from the user for the string object so str equal to scan dot next so make sure that you are giving scan dot next over here if you use scan dot next line only first line will be collected by the user now after giving scan dot next the next thing is you have to give a break compulsorily so what will happen if you do not give a break here so if you do not give a break here it will say something like an unreachable code if you give something here after this while loop since the word while is given with true right so now just use system dot out dot print ln r print str so now your code is done let us compile the code okay so now we are just typing hi hello and let us do the same line to terminate this so not the line uh, just we are just indicating that our input has been done so now just press the tab key once and again press enter now you can see the same output on the screen so we have given a multi-line input and the same is being collected by the compiler and it is displayed on the output screen let us see the code once again so here we are just declaring an object for the scanner class and next we are just declaring a string here and next is for the scanner object we are using a delimiter as slash slash t where slash t represents a tab space again and next we are opening our loop that is while of true and inside this loop we are just getting the input for the string and at once we are giving a break so this break statement will be executed only when you are terminating this particular line by using a tab space and an enter so at once it is going to the next line this break is used for breaking the entire loop and next we are going to print the str value so at once we compile this code 
the entire set of input which is given by the user will be collected and it will be displayed on the output screen. Thanks for watching my video. For more awesome videos, just subscribe to my channel.